Hey guys, Techman Trouble with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if the Wi Fi assist setting is grayed out. So, if you go into your setting of your iPhone on the latest iOS version and then go to cellular here and go all the way down here where it says Wi Fi assist, as you can see here, this button is grayed out and I can't turn it on or off. And you may be experiencing the same exact issue. So, what is Wi Fi assist? First of all, you have to understand that this is as you can see here, it says it automatically uses your cellular data when Wi-Fi connectivity is poor or basically when the Wi-Fi signal is, again, maybe weak or isn't as strong as it should be, your phone will try to use your cellular data. So you may not want that if you want to always keep it on Wi-Fi even though it might be have a weak signal. So in order to be able to turn this on or off, a couple things here. First thing is pull down the control menu here. Put your phone on airplane mode briefly and then turn it off. As you can see, it does a quick network refresh so that if you're having issues with the connectivity, it should hopefully not allow you to change it. Now, if it doesn't allow you to change it, the next thing you want to check out in your settings is you have to ensure that your cellular data is turned on. As you can see here, I have cellular data turned off. That's why that option is turned grayed out. If I turn this on and this time, I'll do another network re, uh, airplane mode on and off and then go down here and this time as you can see now I can turn on and off the Wi-Fi assist option which becomes available for me. So ensure that your cellular data is turned on and then you'll be able to go ahead and turn that on and off. Now if you still can't do it where it's still grayed out the next thing you want to do on your iPhone is to do a forced restart. So in order to do a forced restart, you're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down. So that's volume up and then volume down one after another and then hold the side button until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo up here. At that time, you'll let go of that button. So we'll do volume up, volume down and then I hold the side button. Now I'm not going to slide to power off because that will be a normal shutdown. I keep on holding this button. As you can see, it's been pressed hold since I pressed volume up and down. And I wait till the screen goes black. And then once the Apple logo appear, I let go of that button. Again, if Siri activates while you're doing that, that means you didn't press volume up and down quick enough. So make sure you press volume up and volume down one after another. Finally, hold that big side button until the screen goes black. And you see the Apple logo. This is known as a force restart, which fixes most of software related issue. And while you do that, None of your personal data like photos, videos, apps will be removed. They'll all be there. This time you can go back into your settings, cellular, and hopefully this time you can turn on, on and off the Wi-Fi assist. Now, if you did all of this and it still doesn't work, the next thing to do is a network reset. Again, this time you're going to be in the settings. This time we'll go to general and go all the way down here. It says transfer reset iPhone. And then you'll do the reset option, the very first one. And then we'll come the network reset setting once you do that it will delete things like saved wi-fi password bluetooth connected devices but it will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos videos apps will still be on your phone it will just reset the settings of the network such as your connectivity which again would be if you're having issues with that wi-fi is just not working you want to do this this takes about a minute or two to do once you do that hopefully after that you'll be able to go into your setting of your phone cellular and you'll be able to turn on and off the Wi-Fi assist just like that. So that's it for this video in terms of all the troubleshooting you can do in order to fix that. I hope now Wi-Fi assist you can, is working for you and you can turn it on and off. If so, please make the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.